you know, originally when Leo saw this project, I think he was, you know, he wanted to get it on screen. And he said this publicly because it represented the mistakes that I made and the attitude I had at that time represents a lot of what really went wrong ultimately many years later with Wall Street. And I think it was important to him. And, and I think that what impressed Leo, I think, about my new life so much is he saw me really make this radical turn. And um, I think that moved him. And, um, and I was really proud and, and, and you know, shocked that he did that. How much time did you spend with Leo DiCaprio? I spent a lot. Like what? Uh, you know, countless hours, you know, hundreds of hours. Uh, hundreds of hours in probably, his company? Probably, yeah, 100 plus hours. And how did you find him and how did he find you when you were just, just interacting together? Oh, either, um, you know, by telephone in my house or his house or um, out somewhere. And uh, we were just literally, he said, you know, one thing I don't think people realize about Leo is... Uh, his, his excellence is not by, it's like he strives for it. He works really, really hard. And I think he was so determined to suck every bit of information from me and any, any stuff that wasn't in the book and sort of, you know, what was on my mind, just really trying. And I guess I, you don't realize how much he's looking at you because when I saw it on screen, I was like, oh my God. I like, it was, I, I thought his, you know, it was, an, it was mind boggling to see. It, I mean, really. I can tell already <laughs> the voice is pretty well perfect. It was got, amazing. got you. You know, you don't look massively dissimilar to, I guess, in your younger days to how he is uh, in the movie and so on. When you watched the movie, what did you feel about the reality? B because only you would know, really. I, you know, it was shocking. When I first saw the, I saw the movie with my, with my uh, fiancé the first time, and we, um, we were speechless afterwards. You know, and I was told, in a good or bad way. It, in a in a good and a, in a good way. I mean, I guess listen. For me, it's different than it, when the audience sees it. I think they're speechless in, because they're just like overwhelmed with some sensory overload. For me, it was trying to sort of, you know, I come to terms with my old life. I wrote this book, and that was like a cathartic experience for me. But to see it on film like that with someone that that was, did such a good job, I, I literally. I felt myself sweating at certain points when some of the cocaine was being snorted. I'm like, I got a little sympathetic reactions to it, and I just, uh, it, it was... But all that was true, right? I mean, I remember, the, the, I remember reading, I think, an FBI guy who was investigating, he said, <laughs> the, the thing about Jordan Belfort is, it's all true. 